Salut. So, um, I wanted to make a formal video about, uh, my personal, well, the connotations associated with the word ugly that I have personally come to integrate into my life, let's say. Um, so by definition, the word ugly is a negative word. It means something that's unappealing. It means something that is... Unappealing, unpleasant, hideous, unlovely, unprepossessing, unsightly, horrible, frightful, awful, ghastly, vile, revolting, repellent, rep repugnant, repulsive, grotesque, disgusting, monstrous, blah, 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 misshapen as well is in there. And then, of course, the antonym is beautiful in the thesaurus. So this is the problem, the definition with it, because, you know... I would like to use a word that is not, you know, this word is meant to mean something negative. Um, but if we look at, like, if we look less at the definition of it and more about what kind of traits it's applied to physically, like, there's no physical definition of the word ugly. So, it's it's just a word that you can apply to any well we're talking about physical traits in this video to any physical trait regardless of what it looks like so that's why that's why it's body shaming not fat shaming or skinny shaming um it's all just body shaming like it doesn't actually matter what you look like for people to call you ugly um it's just a shitty word that doesn't actually have a definition in the physical world it's just a shitty way of looking at things. So, I look at the traits that people label as ugly. Not, again, we're not talking about personality ugly, because there are definitely ugly personalities. No lie. That's the true definition of the word ugly. But physical ugliness, like, what people, what, okay, I'll do example for me. Um... And again, I'm not being self-deprecating by showing you the things that I perceive as ugly. Um, I guess I'll explain this first, is because what I see ugly as now, the traits that I see that are usually connotated with the word ugly, without the bias in there, they're just raw human traits. Just raw, unapologetic human. Unique human traits. That's what it is. It just means different, as everyone is. Everyone's different from each other. So, you know, different doesn't even mean anything in this context. Um, what it means to me is just unapologetically raw. So, if I make a video, and I feel like I can't unless I completely hide my face, and I completely change my hair and put it in a way that people will be finding appealing, I'm not being me. Now there is a difference between this and self-expression. It's self-repression versus expression. Dr. Rogers shit. Um, and that's an incredibly difficult thing for people to differenti differentiate between because I have often thought that I've been expressing myself when in fact I'm just conforming to non-conforming, which is just as bad because you're still not being yourself. At the same time, you can totally pursue things and ways of looking that conform to the same way that a group of people look, or something like that, but if you're doing it for yourself, like, you make sure that you're doing it for yourself, like, you're not actually conforming, you're actually, you just happen to have a convergence with another group of people that likes to express themselves the same way you do. And the thing is just making it not cliquey. Anyway, so, um, so I've, yeah, like, I'm just really over feeling like things are ugly in that sense, because nothing, like, nothing in the physical world has a negative connotation, because if we're thinking science, facts, and logically, Everything, all that bias shit, that's not real, that's perception. We have to look at what's real and not what we perceive, in a way. 
So don't apply this to everything, but I mean about this thing. So when I, when I wake up in the morning and I have, you know, I have giant circles under my eyes, I look like I've been drowned or I'm drowning. Or I have, like, discoloration in my face. If you call that ugly, that, that's a perception. Because I'm telling you things that are just facts. This is a physical thing that is a fact. I exist. Like, instead of saying, you know, cute button nose, I'm just like, no, this is... Okay, okay. Wrong, wrong, wrong thing. So instead of saying, you know, uh, like saying someone has a witch's nose, like, if you say my nose is big, alright, if you say my nose is big, people are automatically going to think that that's a negative thing. Because that's just how... But you're not saying a negative thing. You're just saying what is... This is a fact. This is just raw. This is not a good thing or a... This is just... This is just me. And to me, doing that is basically the realest way to exist. To not put a connotation on yourself. Um, unless it's positive. But positive, you need to be careful with that because superficial positivity is not really the right thing. So basically taking a look at your face and instead of me being like okay you know my eyes are way too big they freak people out uh, all these negative connotations or like you know the bags under my eyes are huge and ugly blah 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 I can just say yeah I'm tired I have bags under my eyes no negative connotation, just a fact. My eyes are really big. That's not a positive or a negative connotation. That's just a fact. It's just real, honest fact, raw, honesty shit. And it's good for you. It's really, really, really good for you. Um, again, like, I think that's that kind of covers it, actually. I just fucking love looking at people nowadays, though, because one of the, like the most exciting and most attractive thing about people is that they're they're all so unique in the way that they express themselves and not only in the way they express themselves but the way they just are as a human being like biologically you're unique you are so fucking cool by being like just existing that is so fucking cool and yeah Fuck, it's so cool. Everyone looks so different and like we don't all look the same. And society's trying to tell us you gotta put yourselves in these boxes. This is a niche, this is a niche, this is an aesthetic for a certain group. That's another thing is like subcultures. Cause while I believe, you know, the point, the positive point of subculture is to express yourself. Um with other like-minded individuals that also express themselves in similar ways. Thing is, this is where fads come from, this is where cliques come from, and those are things that I see as negative because I do not feel like they are honest. If you feel like you are honestly being yourself and everyone says you're conforming to being a hipster, fuck em. Like, you're as long as you're being you for reasons you don't need reasons. No reasons. Okay, no reasons anymore. You have no reason to do anything that you don't want to do or you don't want to be. Like, I don't know. I'm really trying not to go tangenty with this one, but it's already a bit of a long video. I just think it's really upsetting when people put negative connotations on things that by nature, are not negative or positive. Like, saying someone has a round face, or like, stuff like that, it's like, people add a negative connotation to it, or like, a big nose, or like, I have crooked teeth. Why should that be a negative thing to say? I should be able to say, yes, I have crooked teeth. As nothing, like, as neutral and the least, at least make it neutral, but in the best sense, make it something positive. So like, another thing I'm doing is eliminating the word but from my vocabulary. Not in a, not in a strict, strict sense, like I still use it in daily words, 
but it's like, um, see? It's like, it's like, oh, I look really tired and stuff today, but I'm still cute. No, you don't say that anymore. You don't need to say that anymore. You say, I look really tired and haggard today, and I'm cute. And not, and I'm still cute. And I'm cute. It does, it's, it does not, contrast does not mean contradiction, okay? That's a big thing. Contrast does not mean contradiction. Contrast is normal and healthy and good. It does not need to mean something bad. Um, alright, this has gone on for a long time, but I think I finally managed to put this into words. Um, so yeah, take a look at your traits as they are, with no connotation, because connotations and beauty standards, like, to an extent they come from the outside, of course, but, you know, I've also had times where I've been like, oh no, I don't care about any of society's standards, like, I'll dress punk as shit, blah blah blah, but just don't conform to anything, even non-conformity, you know what I mean? So, yeah, try to look at yourself just without, with as little bias as, just try to see the truth, just try to see things logically and just, this is a physical fact. That's all that it is. It does not need to be negative, I guess, is what I mean to say. Okay, stay ugly.